This hack tip is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morse, and today we're checking out an alternative cloud storage service. Now, a while back, I was looking for cloud backups and online storage, and there has been a lot of talk lately about things living up in the cloud, aka accessible anywhere where you have internet. But it's so expensive that I haven't found it worth the time and research to find one. So I've always stuck with my external Western Digital 2 terabyte hard drive, but what if there's like an earthquake and my entire apartment explodes and disappears? It's that one time when cloud storage would actually come in handy. Or of course, when you need to access your files anytime, anywhere. I guess it would be kind of handy to have it then, huh? Anyway, enter A Drive, yet another free online storage solution found over at adrive.com. Adrive has several storage plans starting from their basic plan, which is 50 gigs for free, all the way up to their hefty premium plan that can do anything from 100 gigabytes to 10 terabytes. Yeah, it's a lot. And the costs are a little bit on the pricey side, starting at $69.50 annually and going to $6.95 monthly and increasing from there. But luckily, they all come with 14-day trials if you're curious about those features from one plan to another. And A Drive comes with a lot of features. Each plan includes folders and directory uploads and downloads, an easy search tool, remote file transfers, and file sharing. The pricey plans have FTP access, file histories, a desktop client for Windows, Mac, and Linux, yeah, SSL encryption, oh yeah, support, and no ads. But for me, 50 gigs is just fine and dandy, so I went ahead and signed up for the basic plan. Now the fact that the basic plan has 50 free gigabytes of storage means pretty much diddly squat when you consider the fact that there's no SSL encryption or security. You can't even upload to, to a secure FTP connection. I mean like, WTF mate? But luckily there is a way to safely keep your files in A drive without needing to pay a dime. Yeah, I'll let you know. A while back I had done a tutorial on TrueCrypt which will encrypt your entire hard disk or just a little select volume. But this tool is another way to encrypt your important documents. Steganos Locknote can be found over at steganos.com or sourceforge.net slash project slash locknote. And it's another way to encrypt all those important documents. It'll encrypt your text notes for free and it enables you to give your file password protection. And I'll show you how right after this quick break. With more than 20 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service instantly streaming TV episodes and movies over the internet. Members can instantly watch thousands of titles on a vast array of devices, streaming TV episodes and movies, like Microsoft's Xbox 360, Sony's PS3 game console, and the Nintendo Wii console. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch as many movies as you want anytime you want for one low monthly price. There are no late fees or due dates. As a new member and a Hack Tip viewer, you can get a free trial membership. Go over to netflix.com slash HAK5 and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so that they know we sent you. I'm back with Locknote and A Drive. Now, all you have to do to download this is go over and download the program, extract it, and open the executable file. And I should mention, you can also use this as a portable app, which is super, super cool. Erase the text and copy in your own. So I'm going to copy in, uh, let's say that my 3DS friend code, if I could spell, is 21665789 or something like that. And I don't want to share it with the world, but I do want to share it with my friends and I want to make sure I have it on hand if I ever need to give it to anybody. All you have to do is copy in your own text and then choose to save it and enter your new password. So I'll go to File, Save As, and I'll put this on my desktop, DS Code, and hit Save. And it'll ask me to enter in a brand new password. So I'll make it Game, which you just lost. And it's ready to go, and now I can exit. Also, if you ever want to change your uh, information or if you want to change any of the text or erase it or whatever, you'll also have to put in your password again. 
Okay, now I'm done. Anytime you make changes to LockNote, it makes you save with the password as well. I can now save all the tax information that I had in a secure AES 256-bit encrypted file, and I can use A Drive's free 50 gigs, gigs even though they don't give you any SSL encryption. Yeah. So now that we have Windows SkyDrive, A Drive, plus all the others out there that I haven't checked out, I think if I organized it well enough, I could put all of my files in the cloud in a way that I would never have to pay for storage. Just a thought. Plus, the fact that I can securely encrypt my text documents in a password protected file makes it even better. And I could even encrypt an entire volume in TrueCrypt to make it even more secure. <sighs> Awesome! Twice the security! I want to hear what you guys think of cloud storage. Let me know which ones are your favorite, especially the free ones. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course. Hit me up, tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your techno -lust.